What's going on you guys? Pep Platypus here and it's time to review Dragon Ball Super episode 17. So this episode of Dragon Ball Super, this was a fun one. It's another transitional episode, uh, kind of between the major arcs. And it's pretty similar to the last one in the sense that Goku wants to be trained by Whis, but that's more downplayed for, you know, just comedy and kind of just character interactions. And they're really good. It's not quite as funny as the previous one, because seeing Vegeta do silly shit is just always amazing, but... Um, in this one, we get some really cool stuff. We get uh, Krillin, he's a cop. Um, they change up that scene a little bit from the movie. Uh, Bulma kind of helps him uh, run two robbers down, which was kind of like, eh, Krillin could have done that by himself, like in the movie. He didn't need help, but then he writes Bulma a ticket, which was hilarious. And he still has uh, We Are, the first One Piece opening as his ringtone, which is awesome. Uh, nice little uh, cameo reference right there, a little Easter egg. But yeah, so that scene was great, and you know, Krillin being a cop and everything, you know, we're getting closer to Resurrection of Frieza, it's cool to see him doing something different. Why did he fail the police? Like, he said he failed the police test twice. How do you... You're Krillin, you're like the strongest human. He must have been like the written part or something, but... Or he didn't hold back his strength enough and he was beating people too hard or something, because there's no way he can't do the physical fitness shit. But anyway, whatever, nitpicking. Uh, we get really adorable and charming scenes with Mr. Satan and fucking Gohan. I know I sound like a bitch for saying that, but with them playing around with Pan and everything, it was dangerous as fuck, but it was adorable. I like that uh, Chi-Chi comes in, and that was really funny. Like, Chi-Chi was kind of annoying in this episode, but that was really funny when she first came in, and she was like, what the fuck are you doing? And she did, like, that jump back onto the table. I kind of forget that she is a pretty good martial artist. She could probably honestly beat Mr. Satan in a fight. So, yeah, she's, like, the super gilf. And, um, she's just mad because they want... Well, they don't want Pan to be a martial artist. Well, actually, they do, but she thinks that they're just gonna drill it into her head from an early age by fighting in front of her. Even though it's totally play fighting, you know, Gohan in the Great Saiyan Man outfit. Gohan haters gonna hate... Um, but it was funny, and it was charming, and it's cool to see the family interactions. That's actually something Dragon Ball Super has been doing a lot of, uh, whenever they go into downtime, they really focus on, like, the family aspects, and it's always good, because these characters are so good, and so fleshed out. You know, these are characters with depth, these are characters that are well-rounded, fleshed out, and good characters, and that's why, at least for me, I can enjoy these downtime episodes, is because I love the characters and how they interact. But... You know, that's just me. I'm sure a lot of people are like, oh, filler episode, where's the next arc? You know, whatever. So yeah, I liked this one. It moved forward, you know, the story a little bit at the end with Goku going with Whis. But other than that, you know, there's a few other little bits and pieces here and there. The next episode looks like it could be really interesting. Uh, but yeah, what else happened in this one? There's really not much else to say. He gets Bulma's help trying to contact Whis. Those were some funny scenes. Uh, cool seeing Goku and Bulma interact like that, because, I mean... They were like the original two way, way back in the day, so, you know. It's cool, um, but yeah, not really much else to say. Uh, Chi-Chi was pretty annoying uh, a few times. I do love that she can just put Goku in like an arm lock and just fucking tug on him, because Goku's obviously not going to do anything to her. Uh, I like that she gets over Goku leaving, though, because, um, I mean, really, she knows Goku, and she's not like... She wants him to stay, because obviously she loves him and everything, but I mean, she knows that this is, like, where his heart is, is training. Even Gohan and Goten are like, it's fine, he needs to train, Beerus was strong, he needs to be able to take on people like that. And, uh, you know, Chi-Chi lets him go, and she's like, yeah, well, it's Goku, he'll come back when he's hungry, which was a great line from her. Uh, but yeah, it was really good. Um, not much else to say, it's a really simple episode, it just had a lot of good character interactions, it was pretty funny. And now Goku's going to go train with Whis. Uh, what did Whis mean by saying it was the perfect time for Goku to come? I don't know. Maybe he wants Vegeta to have a sparring partner. Maybe Vegeta is on the same level as Goku now. Uh, something else, possibly. I'm not too sure, but... Um yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's gonna be cool. We know we're getting in there, you know, we see the next, uh, episode. We got Frieza's men are there. We also see, uh, Champia, and I believe her name is Vados. They're in the preview as well, so, you know, we see Goku and Vegeta training. And they're also doing some silly chores and stuff, but, I mean, we see them training, so... We'll have to see what happens. It definitely looks like it's gonna be a good episode, um... Hopefully it is, you know, but... 
yeah, I really don't have too much to say about this episode. In terms of plot progression, it's basically the same as the last one. Goku goes to train with uh, Whis, so... Yeah, we'll have to see what happens there. You know, it's it's decent progression. You know, it's moving things along, but, you know, with all the other comedy and everything, the story progression is definitely the weakness here. The animation was pretty good. Nothing spectacular. Didn't need to be. It was fine animation. And it was paced okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, like, not much to say, so I guess I'll wrap it up. It was probably around a 7 to a 7.5 episode. It was a good episode of Dragon Ball Super. And, uh... Yeah, I end a lot of my sentence with, and, uh, yeah, but yeah. So, thanks for watching this video. Tell me what you guys thought of this episode of Dragon Ball Super in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, I post things there sometimes. Give this video a thumbs up, that would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, or if you like what you've seen here, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.